muscles. Fix up my hair a little bit, or as much as can be fixed. You know what? Just get up there and sell some stuff. Going to be sold for that finished and done bit on the sheets. At $15 finished, 20, 25 on the sheets, guys. At $25 finished. We actually do pretty well for a mother and son team. We disagree <laughs> quite often, but we're usually pretty good at figuring I it out in the end. His mind is so, he does not forget anything. And of course, my mind's not that good anymore. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know if it ever was. So Adam's been involved in antiques since he was born, just about. I think it's in his blood. I've always loved antiques and collectibles, so he's just grown up with them. In front got five dollars, Jen Fid, seated, finish enemy sold a lot. At five dollars, oh shit, seven over the back of the room, Jen Fid. Back of the room at seven dollars. I mean it's a bit like spruiking up there kind of thing. So why people come to auction. You got the chance of getting something cheap. There's not really much you can do to motivate buyers. If you're animated up there in a little bit, have a little bit of fun and things like that, that can help. I opened my first shop in Glen Huntley called Old and Crafty, but I could actually see the end of antique shops happening with the internet. And so I closed the antique centre down on April Fool's Day 2000. <laughs> so that, that way I would never forget. And I turned it into an auction room. We've still got customers that came to our first auctions that still come today. Kenny's been around for, for many, many years. He loves garaginalia, petrol signs. Good people, a lot of collectibles. It's like a family. Well, Sam's a sharpie. He plays in a band. He collects all sorts of things. Well, I've been coming here, I think, for about, oh, I've lost count, probably five years. Everyone calls him Big John, but I call him the Godfather. I suffer the DTs if I don't come every Thursday night. Have a great day, guys. We will. Have fun. Yes. We shall. Come back with the bacon. Only the best stuff. Don't get lost. No. Make sure you do come back. Because I know you love being away from me. <laughs> <laughs> Vanessa, aka Muscles, has sent us out on a mission. It's supposed to be some pretty cool stuff and a lot of stuff here. So let's go down and have a bit of a gander. Good day, Linda. Hi, how are you? Good, how are you going? Good, come in, come this way. Everything is just in there, so go for your life, guys. Do I like the look of this so far, dude? Been a collector since as far back as I can remember. Right, dude, have a look in here. And I've collected ever since. Won't be able to find anything good without these things on. It's time to start getting rid of some of it. Can you stop it now? Because I can't see where I'm going with <laughs> those things on. We've got cats, and they cost a lot of money, and they've got to be contained. They, you know, like need cages. I'm hoping we can kind of limbo through. Luckily, we're skinny little fellas, eh? Is there another room through there? The reason why Adam came is because they're going to take it all back to the auction house with them. Oh, what's that? Check this out. Growl. And I'll hopefully sell it and make good money and I'll be able to afford a lot more cages. Hey, that'll drop down. There'll be a turntable in there. Oh, nice. He's been tied up back in 1976 yeah. to be stored. Probably played the Seekers last time. <laughs> oh, don't you dare. <laughs> That's going to push 100 bucks. There's some more stuff, nice old radiogram. Some of those old Gladstone bags are yeah, actually yeah, okay yeah, these yeah. days. All right, there's some all right bits and bobs up here. I can see a couple of old pushies and that nice old blue esky over the back there. He'll do all right, he'll bring 50 bucks, give or take. You wouldn't really believe I'm claustrophobic, would you? One thing I can see, one little issue here. Getting stuff out. Getting stuff out, Ray. And God knows, Ray, what else is in these boxes. Yeah. Alrighty. Looks interesting. Looks like there's something underneath that tarp yeah. as well. I wouldn't mind having a gander at. Yeah. Whoa, look at this. What's this model, Adam? That's a big Falcon two door. Two door. Looks she looks to be pretty cool, doesn't she? It does. We're going to have to have a chat to Linda about this. I don't think they'll part with this one. Oh, I wouldn't if I was there. No. <laughs> Sell the kids first. The kids first. Yeah. Yeah, I'd do that as well, Ray. Look in there, mate. That's all under the house. Heaps small stuff. This is a monster mission. All right, let's get in here, Ray. Let's see what we can dig out. I think we are going to need a fair bit more than just a little love bus, mate. Than just the van. I think we're going to need a truck or something, Ray. Yeah, I think... Oh, Skatey. 
It's about my vintage. I reckon that says Bonzer underneath okay. there. Okay. Right, look at this golden fleece tin ray. He's in great nick. Yeah. All right, hey, look at the petrol bowser ray. That's going to weigh a ton. What I might do though, mate, is actually take a quick little happy snap of it. Yep. Send it to the boss back at work. See if she can have a quick little, you know, do a quick bit of research for us. Well, Tanya, have a look at this. Adam's just sent me this. You know the house call that he, he and Ray are at? And he just wants to know a bit about it. It's a petrol bowser. But yeah, it'll sell really well, won't it? Definitely. He looks like he's having fun. Hey, Muscles, how are you going? You got the picture of the petrol bowser? Yeah, what did you find out? So I've just spoken to Vanessa. The vendor should be pretty happy. Um, she's done a bit of research and found out that one sold in West Wyalong for $600. And we should be able to do something like that for it as well. The vendor should be pretty happy at the end of the day. All right, Muscles. We'll see you soon. I'm sad to see some of it go. Very sad, but I can't hold on to it forever. Watch your back. Come on, get this stuff out. Hey, guys. Oh, hi. So how was the house and how was she? Quite an interesting house. Look, lovely people, very nice people. Okay. You know. That's nice. So there will be some nice stuff in amongst it all. I think they're going to be pleasantly surprised at the end of the day. Oh, good. Yeah. Okay. Let's get let's get the rest out of the machine, eh? All right. It's like Christmas every day. A lot of the time, you know, you might have 30 or 40 boxes come in in a consignment from an estate, so you haven't got a clue what's in there and you start unpacking and there's always a few treasures and we get very excited. We have a lot of fun. Yeah. 